great artist steal. That was Steve Jobs. Welcome to the Crypto Teacher, where we discuss Bitcoin and other cryptos. Today we're going to go over a um, a digital currency that was claimed to be illegal. But we're also going to basically go over the um, protocol. It was uh, it was called Liberty Reserves. Um, it was Costa Rican uh, based centralized digital currency. Uh, now this digital currency was created in 2001. Now this was before Bitcoin. This was before Ripple. Now this currency was serving over a million users before the United States government actually shut it down. Uh, basically, I think it was shut down probably around 2012, 2000, I think it was 2012. Actually, it was 2013 when they were shut down. But it is so similar to Bitcoin and, of course, Ripple and their starts. And how it looks like the protocol basically was stolen um, from the actual uh, creator of the uh, Liberty uh, Reserve. His name was Arthur Madovsky and Vladimir Kantz. Um, when they ran the exchange service, it was known as the Gold Age. Now, both of these men got prison time, but they were making, I mean, moving billions and billions of dollars over this so-called new technology that they had eight years even before Bitcoin and probably like 10 years before um, Ripple. So I just find that I just wanted to go over this little bit of information because don't forget what Steve Jobs said. He said it's not who is the best creator. It's the one who steals the best. And he had to learn that the hard way because, of course, he got what we call Microsoft. He was the creator of that. Remember, he got it from Xerox, paid Xerox their money, bought in some guys, including Bill Gates, to work on it. Bill Gates steals it from him. He gets kicked out of his own company, comes back knowing and prove. But just don't forget, that's what he said, is who can steal the best. And that's what this whole situation looks like it was all stolen from them. So we're looking at Bitcoin and, and Ripple as great technology, but it looks like these gentlemen were doing this eight to 10 years beforehand. And this looks like the government just took their software and just redone it because we know that Bitcoin is ran by um, the central banks, the government. So I just thought this was very, very interesting. It was called Liberty Reserve. And it's like I said, it was, um, Launched 2001, the headquarters was in Costa Rica. Uh, please like and subscribe. Remember, it's free of charge to like and subscribe. And don't forget, uh, we're on btcteacher.com, facebook.com, backslash btcteacher, Instagram, btcteacher. Um, and of course, you can go on our website and get the book. 999 for the Kindle and um 2499 uh for the book. But yeah, this was very interesting information. You should have a great day.